Okay, here's a detailed solution to a combustion analysis type problem. We call them type 2 problems because they have three elements rather than two. Carbon, hydrogen, as well as oxygen. Here's the question. We've got an anabolic steroid named Dianabol, and it has those three elements in it with a molecular mass of about 300 grams per mole. And the amounts are given when it is combusted. This is how much carbon dioxide it makes and how much water it makes. Find the molecular formula for it. The way to solve this is first we find the grams of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. We convert it to moles to get a molar ratio. That's our empirical formula. And then we simply scale it to get our molecular formula. So here's the details. You're given that ma many grams of carbon dioxide, right? Right. Oh. There it is, right there. And 44 grams is a mole. So we have almost a mole of carbon dioxide. Anytime you have a mole of carbon dioxide, it contains a mole of carbon, and that's the carbon that it came from in the reactant. And that weighs 12.01 grams, so we've converted from grams of carbon dioxide to grams of carbon. We do the same thing for the water molecule. There's a slight difference here, because anytime you have a mole of water, it has two moles of hydrogen in it because of the H2. So we then recognize that they weigh one gram each, and we have 1.387 grams of hydrogen. What about oxygen? Sometimes people get stuck here, but the solution is to recognize that the rest of the stuff is oxygen. You've accumulated 12, 13.1 maybe grams of carbon and hydrogen, and the mass of the entire thing is 14.765. Therefore, the rest is O. Subtract the carbon and the hydrogen, and you'll see about, about one and a half grams of oxygen in your reactant. Those are your gram ratios, but they certainly aren't your, aren't your mole ratios since each element has a different mass per atom. So we use the molar ratios to find out the ratio of actual atoms, and here we go. Take those grams of carbon and find out that you have almost a mole of carbon. I mean, we knew it up there, but we didn't know what this one is. Sometimes I think there's a faster way to do this, but this is very complete. We have uh, 1.3 moles of hydrogen, and we have oxygen. This one you have to carry through, so we have about a tenth, a hundredth, yeah, about a tenth of a mole of oxygen. That's your mole ratio, and that is an empirical formula, you know, C.983, H1.376, etc., but it's not whole numbers. The trick, and a lot of people get stuck here, is to divide everything by the little guy. That'll, by definition, make this oxygen 1, 0.093 divided by 0.983, and usually the other ones become either whole numbers or close to. And in fact, for this one, divide them all by the little guy, see that? And that just scales things down. And you get a nice whole number for all of them. 10 for the carbon, 14 for the hydrogen, and 1 for the oxygen. If this were an empirical formula question, you'd be done. The empirical formula is that you always have to figure out what its molecular mass is. And that's 150.22 grams per mole. Reason? It doesn't match the molecular formula. I hope you can see that it's just half of it. We have to double things up. But if you like to do it in detail, here it is. Scale to get the molecular formula. We get something called a scaling factor, N, which is the molecular mass over the empirical mass. Where are they? Right there and there. It's going to be 300 divided by 150. And there it is. 300 divided by 150 is 2. So double the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. And that's the answer to our question, C20H28O2. Dianabol is a often abused steroid. It's probably still being abused. Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example, admitted to the long-term use of Dianabol. And there it is. If you count it up, you'll see it's C20H28O2. This is a detailed solution to a combustion analysis type 2.